Hi, welcome to Public Connect Workshop. In this video, we will learn to import Shopify orders to Google Sheets. Since Shopify and Google Sheets are two different companies, there is no data flow between them. In cases like these, you need to bring a third app to integrate them both. In this video, we will use Public Connect to integrate Shopify to Google Sheets. Simply put, by using Public Connect, you can easily import data from Shopify to Google Sheets in real time whenever a new order has been created. It's actually a very simple process. Let me show you how it's done. First, go to Public Connect website. This is the Public Connect website. Here, click on sign in. Sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. Here, bring your attention to the connect part. Then click on access now. Okay, in the right corner, you will find create new workflow. Click it. A dialog box has appeared in front of you. It's asking you to give it a name. I'm going to give it as Shopify to Google Sheet. Then click on save. Once you click save, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here, change the choose app as Shopify. Okay, now the choose method, let's change it to new order. Basically, it means that whenever a new order is created, there will be a trigger. Now, let's go to Shopify. Then click on settings and then go to notifications. In the notifications page, scroll down and bring your attention to webhooks. Then click on create webhook. A dialog box has appeared again. In the event part, change the card creation as order creation. The format will remain same as JSON. Now comes the URL. To get the URL, just go back to Public Connect and click on copy. This is the webhook URL you want. Just copy it and paste it here. The webhook API version will remain same and click on save webhook. Okay, it's showing that the webhook has been saved successfully. So it basically means that Shopify has been integrated with Public Connect. Now let's capture a customer's data from Shopify to Public Connect. To do that, let's click on capture webhook in Public Connect. Okay, so it's waiting for a webhook response. It basically means that whenever there is a new data in Shopify, it will automatically capture it like a radar. In this case, we want data when a new order is created. So let's create a dummy order. To do that, let's go back to Shopify, go back to the store, click on catalog. Okay, so this is how the customer will see my product page. Okay, and he's going to choose this product. Then he's going to click on buy it now. Here he has to fill the details. Okay, so I'm going to fill the dummy details of a customer. His name is Ron Jeremy 23 at the rate gmail.com. That's the email address, the fake dummy address, fake email dummy address of uh, the customer. Fake name, fake last name, okay, rest I have autofilled it, then click on continue to shipping. Then click on continue to payment. Okay, in the payment part, I'm going to enter Bogus Gateway. Click on Pay Now. The order is being processed. Okay, so the customers checkout page has been processed 
okay so let's see whether the data has been captured by pabli connect or not give it some time yes the data has been captured here is the email of the customer ron jeremy 23 at the rate gmail.com and uh, the currency is uh, indian rupees then let's see vendor shopify okay this is the address the billing address the phone number the zip code the province the first the last name okay so basically the data has been captured by pabli connect okay this is shopify's data that has been captured by pabli connect now we have to sync this data to google sheets to do that let's click on this plus button so when you click on the plus button a window appears in front of you okay this is called as the action window before we work on this let me show you the google sheet that i have made so this is the google sheet okay it has been titled shopify and google sheets okay now there are cell names called as name email number billing address and currency so every time a new customer or a new order is created their data will be appended into these cells okay from second row then a new customer is added then his data will be appended into third row so let's go back to public connect in the choose app change it to google sheets in the choose method we have to keep it as append values then click on connect with google sheets in the select your credentials keep it as new credentials the authorized application just click on connect so these are the list of accounts i just want my own account it's asking to come from my choice just click on allow okay it's showing the authorization is successful click on okay now in the spreadsheet it is showing screaming frog crawl data so it's basically has synced the data from my account okay and all the spreadsheets are present here we basically want the spreadsheet called as shopify and google sheets click here the sheet required will be sheet 1 okay because uh, this is the sheet we want sheet 1 now coming to values we have to create a format by which pabli connect can enter shopify data into google sheets the format is very simple as you can see there are five columns 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay there are five columns hence we are going to enter five double quotes each separated by comma i repeat we are going to enter five double quotes each separated by a comma a double quote represents a cell a column you will understand in a, in a minute i am going to type five double quotes that's one separated by a comma 2 3 4 and 5 okay 1 2 3 4 5 because there are five cells 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so the first double quote is for name this double quote is for name because our first cell the first column is name okay here insert the value the first name insert the value that has been given by pabli connect in the double quote that is for email okay we are going to type we are going to insert email in the third quote in the third double quote it's for number we are going to insert number the phone number okay in the fourth quote the fourth double quote billing address okay and the fifth quote let's use the currency okay currency is indian rupees okay so this is the format that pabli connect is going to follow just click on save and send test request okay it is showing that the data has been given to google sheets let's check it okay so the data has arrived the name that is uh, ron 
email that is Ron Jeremy, number, billing address, and currency. So basically, we have successfully integrated Shopify to Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So for your satisfaction, let's check it for one more time if the integration is working or not. Let's go back to Pabli Connect. Save this workflow. Minimize this. Save this. And minimize this. Let's go back to Shopify our online store product catalog this time I'm going to buy this product buy it now email is this time joker34 at the rate gmail.com shipping address is Matthew Ryan Company random Random Okay Phone number nine two three four five six seven eight nine zero Continue to payment Bogus credit card details again. Name on the card. Bogus gateway. Security code. Again, bogus. Pay now. Okay. So the checkout has been processed. Let's see whether the data has been appended into Google Sheets. Yes, the data has arrived. Okay. The name that is Matthew email joker34 the number the billing address and the currency okay so basically it means our integration between shopify and google sheet is working absolutely fine so with pabli connect you can integrate many more apps thanks